Steve Cardone with this box. You are really spoiling me. All right, and welcome to a Polly Polly Poo Poo unboxing. So here's the box. So I'll just tie it down there like that. I'm opening the rear uh, just to, so, uh, well, you know, you know, it's like sometimes it's best to go in the bottom, isn't it? <laughs> when, it, when, it turn, when it comes to, uh, I'll uh, just leave that one alone, actually. I'll, I'll not, I'll not, uh, oh, oh, there's a note, there's a note. Hey, Polly, here's that Professor Xavier for ya. I'll try and do his voice. And a few others I thought you might enjoy as well. Also glad to share my friend, your friend from the land of enchantment, Steve Cardon. Cardon. Wow, the land of enchantment. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where that is. Uh, how much does it cost to send stuff to the land of enchantment? <laughs> I may have regretted my decision. And the way we have, look, some packaging, enchanted packaging. Fresh produce, fresh produce. For 95 cents. And look, there's a guy in a cowboy hat with a child. It's not uh, Gary Glitter, is it? Anyway, so... Ooh, wow, look at that! Yes! Oh, yes, we've got ourselves. It's Sabretooth. Look at this. Let's get this guy out of the packet. Oh. We'll have to do a little bit of camera -ry, camera -ry work. I believe this is the... Oh, yes, it is. It's the Judo Chop version. Judo chop. Ah, oh, cool. Look at this guy. He's awesome. Uh, I did have the kind of the other version of him where he has like the rubber face and unfortunately his face kind of perished. But this is the not rubber ver faced version which is actually vastly superior and he is absolutely amazing. That is so cool. And we also have oh, the master of magnetism himself. It's Magneto. His cape. So I can pretend he's I am a mandrake, my cape. Hello. Has a removable helmet, which is uh, to show off his Jewish roots. And you can remove his cape too, so pretty cool. And he even has a lever there, so he can do his shaking hand and punching you in the face at the same time. There you go. <laughs> that just shows you how big Sabretooth is. Look at the size differential. Oh, look at this. Now, I am a pretty big uh, Marvel Toy Biz collector in terms of that I've got quite a lot of the stuff. Now this is one of the ones I don't have um, so that is really nice that I now have this Rogue and everyone loves Rogue. What's not love? She's got a jacket on and thigh high boots obviously yellow mm, okay but you know what's not to like about thigh high boots and here's Wolverine Ah. Uh, Look at him. He's, he's, what's been going on? I think this one, does he talk? I'm not sure if he's supposed to talk or not. Oh, he does. Look. Oh. Hello, my name's the Wolverine. I wish somebody would cut me claws because I want to scratch me belly and I'll put a hole in me jumper. Or my vest, actually. It's a vest. Quite clearly not a jumper. <laughs> uh... Excellent. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. We like, a, we like a bit of Wolverine. And there's a Batman in there too, look. Because of Batman. This is the Christian Bale Batman. Very nice, actually. It looks very much like Batman, doesn't it? I do have the kind of rubbery... <laughs> what? It's an inspired review. It's an inspired review. It's Batman, and it looks incredibly like Batman. Um, I do have the, the sort of Bruce Wayne version where you can kind of remove the kind of cowley thing, cowley towel, and uh, I don't actually have a proper Batman Batman, so... I'm Batman. Don't make me suck metal through my nose. That's really cool. That's, I'm going to get some good play value. Play value, yeah? Play value, yeah. That's, that's how people from the land of... Enchantment talk. <laughs> and finally, here he is. Oh, this is rather spectacular. It's, uh, <laughs> he's got a little chunk missing on the top of his head. <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to pick it up. <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> That's you can, you can store him stood in his head. Uh, hold on, he's even got a piece of elastic tied <laughs> to his foot. 
to keep him on his wheelchair. He's <laughs> paralysed. Wait, I think I've learned how to walk. Hold on. Oh, ah! <laughs> I fell on the top of my head. It's flattened it. Oh, excellent. Now, I do have the regular version of this figure, but not this version. I don't think this version ever got released. Now, what I really love about him is the fact that his legs are just so incredibly loose. I mean, that would make Michael flatly jealous, wouldn't it? But what's good about it, like I say, is the fact that because he obviously can't stand and things, he's like, oh, oh. Uh, help me up, Logan. Uh, oi. So, make him do a little bit of a dance, actually. Whilst you're waiting. There we are. Beautiful. Right. Sit back down, you lay the rest. Does it have the pull back and go action? No. How cool is that? Oh, a see through. A see through chair so you can kind of make them running in. The phone's ringing. Oh, oh, I forgot I left that there. Oh, really hurt. So there we go. Thank you, Steve. Wow, that's pretty epic. Uh, was not expecting all that. So, blow my neck. Nice one, mate. Uh, it's do, like I say. Uh, what I'll probably do, I'll just stick a lot of stuff in this box, actually. And then uh, you can have it back. So, and you'll be able to say, hey, pet. Me box has come from the good world of enchantment all the way over to Mackham Land and back. So uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you all later on.